Hello and welcome to my YouTube cycling channel. Today I'm going to talk a bit about how to use a heart rate monitor correctly and how it can help you train more effectively. Now, as I'm sure you all know, the harder we exercise, the faster our hearts beat. Put very simply, it does this so that blood and oxygen can be transported around the body to provide the energy and nutrients it needs to fuel that exercise. For us cyclists, the rate at which our heart beats every minute is a very useful and more importantly, measurable indication of how hard we're training. And we can use this to tailor our training to suit the benefits that we aim to get from it. So the first thing to do is to get a maximum heart rate figure. Now there are essentially two ways of doing this. By first and by far the easiest is to subtract 220 from your age. For example, if you're 30 years old, you take 30 away from 220 and you get 190 beats per minute. If you're 40, you get 180 beats per minute and so on. However, this is not the most accurate method as heart rate is a very individual thing. The second and indeed the most accurate method is to do a maximal test actually on the bike. Now it's a little bit involved, not to mention somewhat painful, so I'll cover this in a separate film. But for now though, let's just say you've been totally hardcore and used the second method to get a maximum heart rate of 180 beats per minute. The second thing we need to do is calculate the various heart rate zones, each of which gives a different benefit. Again, there are several different methods, but I use six zones. Whichever way you do it, the various zones will form the basis of an effective training program. Zone 1 is between 60 and 65% of your maximum heart rate. So for our 180 max example, we divide 180 by 0.6 to calculate the lower end and by 0.65 for the upper end. This gives us a range of 108 beats per minute for the lower end and 117 beats per minute for the upper end. At this intensity, it should feel pretty easy and you should be able to maintain it for a few hours. Uh, the benefit you'll receive is increased fat burning. Zone 2 is between 65 and 75% of your maximum heart rate. In our example, this gives us a range between 117 beats per minute and 135 beats per minute. At this intensity, it's starting to get a little harder, although it's still fairly easy. Um, you're starting to build endurance now, as well as uh, fat burning. Zone 3 is between 75 and 85 percent. This gives us a range of 135 to 153 beats per minute. Okay, you're, you're really beginning to feel it now. Uh, you're starting to get difficult to talk. But the, uh, the benefit you'll get is increased endurance. So if you want to ride further, this is where you have to spend most of your training. Zone four is between 85 and 90%. This gives us a range between 153 and 162 beats per minute. Yeah, it's starting to get a bit more difficult now, even more. Uh, it's getting very difficult to talk. And uh, the benefits you'll receive here are improved endurance and improved speed. Uh, so if you want to improve your time trialing, this is where you're gonna have to start. Zone 5 is between 90 and 95 percent. This gives us a range of 162 to 171 beats per minute. Yeah, it's almost impossible to speak now at this level. And the benefits are vastly improved speeds. And again, if you want to improve your time trialing, this is where you have to spend most of your time. Finally, zone six is between 95 and 
This gives us a range of 171 to 180 beats per minute. It's actually impossible to speak at that intensity. Uh, you, you won't be able to stay there for more than a few seconds. But you have to train there as long as you can to improve your spin speed. Well, that's hard. Many cycle computers have the various heart rate zones pre-programmed in. All you have to do is enter your maximum heart rate and they will not only do the calculations for you, but record your efforts and sound an alarm if you train outside a given zone. Sign up to Strava and you can even let the whole world know about it. So there we go. That's heart rate training in a nutshell. Please like, rate and subscribe and check out some of my other films.